in the head. Yeah, Paul can do I mean, yeah. Don't mind. Tell me a bit about this record, though. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so, we wanted to make a new album. We started work on a new album. Uh, last year, I think, we, start, we had a, about ten ideas or something. And then, it's just, uh, whatever, life took over and we didn't have time to uh, go back and finish them. So, then this came up, the Abbey Road thing, and a good friend of mine um, helped out so we could do this, and uh, I thought, what am I going to do? Am I going to write a bunch of new songs, or have a look at what I've got? So I went back and I found all my old songs that I've never used, which I think are good, good songs, very melodic, kind of like the English summer, Jennifer Sits yep. Alone vibe. And then um, just compiled them all together and have made an album out of them, so... Some people might have heard them, a few of them in the past, but most of them are like just songs that have never been released or heard and stuff. But as one, they've been recorded, I mean they've been demoed over the years, over a long time, but as one, they make one beautiful little album, so hopefully it'll be good. And obviously I'm not a drummer, so look. What's it mean to you then to be, to be here? In this well, it's, it's, a, it's a dream come true, I suppose, isn't it? I mean, you know, as big Beatles fans, you know, as a as a band, it's it's fantastic to be here. Finally, in this room, is you know, we had to spend sort of ten minutes just standing there in silence when we came in, but yeah, no, fantastic, really, um, yeah, dream come true. With these songs, you know, the songs on Pocket Melodies, I think everything about it's stronger. And I think it's because the, the songs are, are, are strong songs. They're playing to Andy's strengths with, with what he's good at. And then the way we we recorded it um, played to our strengths. I mean, we are, a, you know, a good live band. And to be doing it all live in the room, you know, with the, with the string quartet as well, was, um, you know... A, and, and where we did it, obviously, in, in Studio 2, I think it's, you know, you, you can tell, you know, there was a magic in, in the air, that, you know, the, the gear we were using. Um, all of us are, you know, massive Beatles fans as well. Um, and I think that, you know, everything about it, you know, it, it comes across, the, you know, the album is, is great, a great collective of, you know, a great collection of songs. No, um... Well, Mum, gonna come in here. Yeah, because it's the same time I come in as well. It's about halfway. Halfway through halfway the first, through first, first, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was trying on it. It's the Leslie fucking. So I was trying to get it off, figuring out how to do it. Leslie fucking. There's a Leslie fucking, yeah. <laughs> Leslie. Yeah, it's me. Because we all do the same rhythm, we all need to tighten up. Yeah. 
to me. But if from now on, right, if I drop out, um, just keep going yeah. and I'll just overdub my guitar and vocal again <clears throat> as one. <clears throat> okay, last one now. Well, Luke uh, was the drummer previous, in a previous band I was in called The On Offs, like a sort of power pop punk sort of band with my mate Danny Connors. And we'd done loads of stuff, you know, lots of touring, and we never really done an album though, it, although we did lots of recordings. And um, before that, me and Luke went back in old bands I was in, like we were in a band called The High Drivers and, and things like that. And when we were kids, probably, I think we were both about 16 when we met, and we started harmonising, I remember, what was it? Uh, he came out of mine and we met at school or whatever. He came out of mine and, and we both had this obsession for the Beatles, so uh, we put, we started playing the, thing, the things we said today. And the harmonies were just perfect. We just harmonised and I was just like, I've never, I've never done this in my life. I never, didn't even know what a harmony was really just knew what to do. So we both harmonised and we were like, let's do more of this. And then before we knew it, before we, knew it we started a band and which led to lots of different avenues which led us here. I've done a few bits and pieces with the Moons and um, I did some keys with them. And actually, right at the very start, um, I did a couple of gigs on drums and I've always done, yeah, this and that. and. Um, for this session, and Andy asked me to uh, play some some percussion, and uh, you know I knew that we were coming here, and um, who who could say no? The song Sleep Today is, I wrote that a good few years ago, um, I can't remember what, I was watching something on the news, it was something about war and all of that sort of rubbish that we all hate and um, I just thought throughout the whole world and all the war that's going on and all the crime and, and everything, one thing we all have in common is we all have to just go to bed. We all have to go to bed and go to sleep. And I just thought it was a nice spin on everything. So however bad you are, or however good you are, you know, we all have to do that one thing in common. So that's all it was. It's nothing, it's just a little melancholy song, like most of them.
Sorry, it's a big box ticked on my list of things to do as a musician, obviously. But this mic, see this microphone, can you move the camera? To see this microphone, that was Ringo's overhead at some point, and Lennon has sang into that microphone also. So things like that are gonna make us even more excited, don't they? The smell of the room when we came in, we wanted it to smell like, um, like what you'd expect it to smell like, and it did, and we weren't we weren't disappointed. But yeah, um, it's gonna be a good day. How do you think it's all going then? Let's have a uh, day. It's going good, actually. You know, we've turned out sort of quite professional today. I have to admit, didn't see that coming. But yeah, look, the string players have just arrived over there, so you know, I'm I'm quite excited to see how that sounds. You know, because it took me. I had to arrange the strings for how many songs? Six, to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, eight, I'm getting rid of one of them. Yeah, I had to arrange the strings for eight songs in like three or four days. Uh, and then considering I'm not classically trained, you can imagine that's a bit uh, freaky. So yeah, so I can't wait to hear it, it's good. See that lad over there in the red jacket? That's my cousin Jack, Mr. Jack Crofts. He did photography. He's, uh, yeah, he's my blood. It's like these boys, I guess. And um, I like the memories that I get from songs like Rear Window, Old Brigade, and um, Where Are You Now? It reminds me of a couple of years that me and Andy lived together. We had a, a recording studio in the, in the cellar. We had a little room upstairs that we could kind of get away with rehearsing as a full band um, and we just spent a couple of years just concentrating on the moons just gigging and uh, writing and recording My favourite song is Rear Window. Um, I love love everything about it. I think you know the start sounds like it should be something Steve Pemberton's in, like Inside Number Nine, or um, you know something like that. Him and, and Reece Shearsmith, um, and then just everything the chorus. That the, I think the lyrics are brilliant, and uh, I just think it's a really strong song. But apart from that, I mean. I remember the first time I heard Riding Man and, and Old Brigade, we'd, we'd started working on them and uh, I remember saying to Andy at the time, those like straight away were two of my favourite.
the old brigade, that's a lot easier for me to explain. In where I used to grow up, it's a little place in Northampton, there used to be a shop called the Old Brigade and it is, um, hold on a minute, it was basically like a military shop that sold like guns and I'm talking like really old stuff. <coughs> and um, anyway, I need, for the song title, I came up the Old Brigade, but more refer, re referring to me and my friends as kids. So, like us, like hanging around in the street when we were younger, all day, right late as possible at night, every day, every day in the street. So it's kind of about that, the Old Brigade, meaning the bunch of kids. And then it's just, um, just about how good it was really and how free we were and it's just a little uh, homage to where I grew up. There's, I lived on Kingsland Avenue which some of the words say that and on the corner of Kingsland, Kingsland Avenue there's Nursery Lane so we used to sort of hang around there outside my house. So yeah I've just sort of put it into a song. Yeah it's no rocket science really it is what it is and it's a nice melody. Had it round, kicking around for a while. Mm. I just can't find the words though, so I don't know it that well, do I? I'm lying. I am lying. Where is? Previous stuff was a um, majority of new songs which Andy had prepared stuff for 
at home. So we, um, so we had a lot of stuff to take into the studio to add the things like drums, bass and guitars too. For this album, um, we have rehearsed live as a band um, to get the main bones of the songs down. We've got a string quartet coming later on today to help us to do those parts. Um, but yeah, we've just spent a, a long weekend in the studio um, tidying all the parts up and making sure that there's no, um, you know, making sure all the subtleties are there, all the little special moments. Um, and then the string players come down and we've worked all their parts out. So we've got a nice uh, few days of playing these songs. So we're extra comfortable and relaxed today. Yeah, um, you all feed off of each other when you're playing together, so that helps to create the moments in the songs that make the perfect take. So that all, uh, and doing that in a place like this, I think it's it, all going to add together and help to add to those special moments. songs are kind of formed from Andy's demos that you had and most of those like were kind of possibly earmarked for a, for a solo album but then but they all seem to have that sort of acoustic thread going through so that's kind of uh, it's that's kind of the basis for it really I guess yeah um, we uh, we've been recording it uh, sat round and all playing live which which for us is a bit of a first really but, but we're kind of preferring that approach at the moment just because you know it's it's just a bit of magic really that you, you can capture yeah. from from playing like that. So yeah, we're, we're really enjoying playing in that way. Do you think you'll get a different result from doing? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Just just more natural sounding, more you know, just just nice that we're all in the same room at the same time, just doing it really. So yeah, I I can imagine we will. Different surroundings here as well, which will, which will help a lot. Yeah, which will certainly change things. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away. I mean, not I mean straight away. What we were doing with the piano, but on this it sounds. One, two, three, four.
Sunday morning loving Lying here with you Staring at the ceiling Isn't are on display Oh Drips on the window pane The clouds are lying with boards of color pain This is our escape from Saturday And everybody's pain We're hiding from the rain Sunday morning loving Wake up after night Sinking under covers Hear the world go by On the window pane, come to lie we brought a color pane. This is our escape from Saturday. We're hiding from the rain. We're staying in today. Today was going. Tell me about it. It's going really well, isn't it, Curtis? It's going very well so far. Yeah, we're yeah. about ten songs in, or fifteen, or something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and then tell me what it means to have worked here. Then I'll be right. Well, it's amazing. You walk in, and yeah, you just think of all the records that have been made here, and I think. Well, I mean, everyone's, you know, it's the Beatles thing, obviously, but maybe Thomas the Tank as well, possibly. What uh, are you saying? Comment below. Yeah, comment below if it has been. I don't fucking know, Cog, because this is shit, man. I hate this. <laughs> been on my mind so long, yeah. Andy. Hello. I think it's going. <clears throat> I think it's going well, apart from this. <coughs> got this cough. But it's going well, yeah, really good. We're going through, uh, we seem to be knocking through the songs pretty quick. And that's it, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, Paul's just turned up. It's over there, hanging out. Tell me about the, uh, the song you wrote together. Um, <clears throat> the song, we, it was an idea of Paul's. He messaged me ages ago with a song called, well, it's now called The Tun Tunnel of Time. But at the time, at the time, the time, time, he, just sent me it and said, what do you think? Do you want to do anything with it? You know, I guess just to work on. And um, that was it. I sort of done a demo of it on tour once. We were in a hotel and uh, it was literally like, he had the basic. And then I just um, added the vocal uh, melody. Um, sorry, he had the kind of melody. So I just wrote the verse lyrics and then he, um, on the tour bus, put the chorus lyrics in, 
So we sort of just uh, bit by bit over time, we just sort of chipped away at it. It wasn't really like, let's write a song together. It wasn't like that. That bloody lamp. Lyric, what is it lyrically? What's the. What, the lamp? The lamp, yeah, what is the lamp lyrically? Lyrically, it's a uh, purpley ish. Right. Oh, but at the end, going into the middle eight, it's a bit different, isn't it? The last few notes. I'll put some bit else on that anyway. Yeah. We quickly hear that, the four of you together? Yeah. Good? Yeah. 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 Good apart from yeah. a couple of fixes I've got to do. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really notice it personally. <clears throat> do you want to do it or not? I'm a loser. I'm a loser. And I'm not what I appear to be. Of all the love I have won or have lost, there is one love I should never have lost. She was a girl in a million, my friend. I should have known. Think it went alright? Put up for time in there, look. Two minutes after our time. So, you know, we recorded an album in a day. Bad going, is We did some rehearsals at Black Barn Studios, um, you know, just to get the songs together, and it all came together well. And it made me realise all of them songs were always meant to be together. So we did that, and then obviously we went into Abbey Road, and um, the whole thing just came together so well. It really did. So it was all quite, it was kind of rushed. We did the, you know, the album in a day. We rushed it like hell, but. Um, I think it kind of kind of has a bit of magic to it for that reason. You know, when we got the ball rolling, it suddenly just all came together and we did it. We did it all day, all quick in a day. And I like things like that. That's how, that's how I've always worked. If I want to do something, let's do it quick. So I think Pocket Melodies is a whole... Uh, it's a beautiful record. It's a beautiful collection of very, very melodic, sweet songs, you know, in... Uh, Lots of different subjects on there, and um, yeah, it's. I personally think it's the best one we've done. An evening in night, I 
under the stars and blanket and warm cup of tea there's rain on the roof and steam on the glass some damp on the walls and ceiling though it ain't too rock and roll to sit and watch TV We roll ourselves another cigarette And kiss ourselves to sleep It's an ordinary romance That we wish to live It keeps us so an ordinary romance that we choose to dream it keeps us apart from the world the night is alive with traffic and lights the people are swarm in the streets inside our balloon we shy away, content in our own company Though it ain't too rock and roll to sit and watch TV We roll ourselves another cigarette and kiss ourselves to sleep It's an ordinary romance that we wish to live it keeps us so far from the world it's an ordinary romance that we choose to dream it keeps us so far an ordinary romance that we choose to dream it keeps us so far from the world oh